Hello, Yogi. Natalie Adele tuning in here. Thank you for tuning in to one of our guided meditation series. And today's guided meditation is all about letting go of comparison. And I know that's something we probably all could use any given day. And the reason why I really enjoy this topic is it really can be applicable to our yoga practice. And our yoga practice is the practice for how we react, respond, and live off of our yoga mat. And I always say to students that the way that we speak to ourselves on our yoga mat the way we speak to ourselves on our yoga mat is how we relate to and speak to everybody else. And raise your hand if you've had an experience where you've compared yourself to the yogi next to you, right? So uh, I invite you to join me in this guided meditation. Uh, we're gonna start off just by burning a little bit of sage. So I have loose leaf sage here. Um, if you have anything else at home that you'd like to burn, go ahead, or you could always use our sacred space spray, which is a smokeless smudge. And the sacred space, or the sage, what I really like about burning sage is it brings the energy, it transmutes the energy upward, up into the heavens, up into the sky, to be alchemized. So it's got, to me, like a very light feeling to it. So when we're working with heavy energies like comparison, jealousy, it's great to help transmute those with our plant allies. So burning some sage, sort of just clearing the space around me, around my heart. And the aromatherapy that I'm going to use for this guided meditation is our spring oil, the I Am Blooming. So this has lavender and geranium and ylang ylang. It's very florally and it's got a lot of flowers in it. And the reason I chose that is because our guided meditation kind of takes us on a trip into a garden today. So it fits wonderfully. And truly, if we want to bloom and we want to evolve and grow into our highest potential, we gotta stop letting go of comparison or we have to let go of comparison, right? So if you have the I am blooming, I invite you to use that. I am love will do if you have that as, as well. So just placing a few drops on the palms of the hand, start to close the eyes, rub the palms together and take five deep breaths with the palms in front of the face. Really breathe it in deeply. Loud, audible, ha. Maybe stick out the tongue, shatter the ego. Three more. Last one, fill it up, fill it up, fill it up. Hold it at the top, sip in a little bit more. Hold. And let it go. Inviting you now to come to a comfortable seat for meditation. That may be this, right? Um, Padmasana, easy seat, maybe lotus or half lotus. And if you have discomfort in the lower back, maybe you choose to lie down. They're all completely fine positions. And allowing yourself to sink into your space, the sacred space, the sacred container that you've just set with yourself with some breath and some aromatherapy and some herbs. And allow the eyes to close, rolling into the back of the eyes, face sockets. Allow the tongue to fall off the roof of the mouth. Take some time here to just move the neck a little bit, side to side. Circle out the jaw hinge. We carry a lot of tension in our jaw. And as you're arriving, you're going to hear the sound of my rattle. The rattle is the oldest instrument. It's the oldest instrument. And the chatter of the rattle, the sound of the rattle, really helps us to silence the chatter of the mind, which is helpful to do before stepping into meditation. So just stay with your breath here, tracing the inhale through your nose. The exhale through your nose. And just focusing on the sound of the rattle. 
giving the mind something to focus on so that you can be calm and still. Start to relax the whole body, whether you're seated or lying down. Soften the belly. Send a deep breath into the belly. And let it go. Take three more breaths here. Take a nice deep breath. Allow your body to relax as you inhale once again. Clearing away the stress of your day. Exhale completely. Bringing deep peace and relaxation. Allow your imagination to wander in the direction of the countryside now. See the rolling green hills in the distance. Notice the beautiful oak trees hanging thick with leaves all around. See a babbling brook crawling upon the earth's surface just a few short feet away. As your hand gently brushes upon the tall grass that's all around you. Soon you come upon an orchard filled with fruit trees of all kinds. The trees here are lush with dazzling apples, succulent oranges, and sweet peaches. You notice a row of lemon trees and you walk over to pick one off the tree. And as you dig your thumb into its shiny, thick skin, the pores within the rind release a strong citrus scent. Bringing this piece of fruit up to your nose, inhale deeply and sink your teeth into the pulp. Do you notice if your mouth waters? Feel your mouth fill with juices as you continue to move towards a captivating white archway, which marks the entrance to an enormous garden. Listening to the sound of the wind as it rustles the leaves and combs through the long grasses that surround you, your nose recognizes the familiar and pungent fragrance of the flowers that lie just beyond the white picket gate that you're about to walk into. As you step into this beautiful sacred space, you see trellises covered in emerald green vines, each with little star-shaped flowers hanging from them. There are gorgeous wisteria dangling in grape-like clusters above your head and sweet peas climbing to the surrounding fence. Looking closely near the ground now, you see the velvety purple of the violets, the vibrant yellow of little marigolds, and some perky bluebells that are swaying gently in the breeze. There are puffy pink peonies and playful pansies of every color. There are dozens of poppies dressed in crimson reds, their centers black as night. Just past those, you spy rows and rows, dense with white and yellow daisies. And just beyond those, there are bushels and bushels of roses dripping with hues of a magnificent sunset. Up against the white picket fence that surrounds this enchanting space, 
you see the huge sunflowers perched high upon their thick, fuzzy stalks, watching over all of it. Breathing deeply, you stand in awe as you witness the majestic beauty of each surrounding plant, each one exhibiting its own unique flair, each one adding to the magnificent landscape, each one enhancing this picturesque view, feeling humbled by the surrounding beauty, you realize each of these plants has so much to offer. You could never choose one over the other for they are all so abundant with life. Some are rich with loud colors and textures. Others offer fruit and sustenance to those who eat their plentiful bounty. Still others keep the circle of life flowing by offering their fresh pollen to the butterflies, to the bees that fly by. Each of them is just as important and valued as the next. Not one of them is fighting for your attention or awe. None of them are wondering, am I good enough? Do I belong here? They just blossom and they dazzle with pure delight as they collectively offer their own special gift to you in this space. Take a long, deep breath in. And bring your awareness back into this space, your body. If you're laying down, I invite you to meet me here, seated. Bringing one hand onto your belly, one hand into your heart. Know that you have such an abundance of gifts, just like that garden. Such an array of colors and offerings, each one no better than the other. And know that, deeply know that, you are free to be you. This is why we practice. We'll bring our hands to heart center. Inhale fully. Exhale, let it go. <sighs> Inviting you to own with me. Inhale. to your heart. Yogi, the gifts in me honor, value, and enjoy the gifts in you. Namaste.